If you're getting close to the point where you're thinking about retiring, is Rapid City and the Black Hills a good place to retire? Should you retire in the Black Hills? Hey everybody, it's Tristan Emo with Mindful Living Realty, your realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota, the gateway to the Black Hills. So I've got eight points to talk about here about whether or not this area might be good for you to retire in or not. So let's get going with the first one, which is probably the most obvious one, and that is the weather. We're up here in the north. It gets cold, we have snow, it gets icy. So it's different than a lot of your more popular retirement spots, such as Arizona, Texas, and Florida. The weather here is never boring. It's 40 degrees one day, 20 the next, but you do get all four seasons. We have beautiful springs and beautiful falls, and the summer isn't as hot as some of those places down south. And when it comes to the winter, there are services and options around to help you deal with that. You can buy a townhome that has the snow removal options that they take care of the snow removal for you. You can get a lift or taxi to take you wherever you need to go throughout the Rapid City area. But if the winter just isn't something you want to deal with, you can do what a lot of people do in the area, and that is snowbird. Arizona ends up being a very popular place for Rapid Cityans to snowbird for the months of January through March because there's a nonstop flight on Allegiant from here to Arizona. Make sure you check out the other videos I've done on this channel about the weather so you have a full picture of what to expect when it comes to South Dakota and its weather. If you're thinking about retiring, the impact on the pocketbook has a huge factor in where you might end up. So let's talk about the cost of living in the Rapid City and Black Hills area. Now as you know, prices have gone up. Things have changed dramatically from where things have been in 2019. Housing prices are up 30%, and as you know, eggs are what, eight, nine dollars a dozen? It's just nuts. So the affordability of Rapid City now is considerably different than it was three or four years ago. Now if you do a Google search for cost of living calculators, you'll be able to see the difference between Rapid City and whatever area that you're from. Typically what I found is if you're coming from a metropolitan area, if you're coming from a very busy area along the coast, tense chances are, it'll be a lot cheaper to live in the Rapid City area than on some of the bigger areas. However, if you're coming from other areas of the Midwest, you'll find that Rapid City is a little more expensive than what you're used to. But a benefit of South Dakota is the tax situation. There are no state income taxes, and from what I've been able to research, there are no taxes on your retirement and your pension funds. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't any taxes at all. Our property taxes, they're not the cheapest in the nation. In fact, we're about number 35 in the top 50 states for the most expensive property taxes. And everything here is sales tax. Your services, your goods, everything. With a 4.5% state sales tax and usually a 2% city tax depending on the city that you're in. Housing in the Rapid City and Black Hills area may also be a challenge for you. With the recent uptick in prices, it's hard to find anything under $300,000. We have very few 55 plus housing communities and a whole lot of split levels, so a lot of stairs everywhere. And we don't have a lot of like sprawling ranch style homes with 2,000 square foot all on one level. There are a number of townhome condominium options, but single family definitely rules the day in Rapid City, South Dakota. There are also a number of retirement communities and assisted living centers in the Rapid City area. Places like West Hills Village and the Good Samaritan Society have multiple options whether you need just assisted living or 24 seven full care. Now hang on, I know, I'm sounding very negative, bad weather, expensive housing, but let's get into a number of positive reasons why retiring in the Black Hills area might be great for you. The first one of these is healthcare options. We've got about 150 to 200 mile radius around Rapid City where everybody in these areas comes to Rapid City for their shopping, entertainment, and healthcare. So we've got a very strong healthcare system in Rapid City. This is headlined by the Monument Health System. The Monument Health System is connected with the Mayo Clinic, and there are clinics and offices and hospitals all over the Black Hills. Over the past few years, we've had a huge expansion to the parking lot, emergency room, heart and health center, making the hospital even more viable for all of your needs. There's also the Rapid City Medical Center system of care, which is separate from Monument Health. They have a variety of clinics, family health care, and even some urgent cares. On top of that, there's a physician-owned Black Hill Surgery Center, which also includes a couple of urgent cares and an imaging center. And then there's a whole array of additional private doctors, ear, nose, and throat guys, chiropractors, massage therapists, the list goes on and on, even to a number of alternative health therapies. No matter what your health need is in Rapid City, you'll probably find some specialty, someone to be able to help you. Now, I have heard that have been a few times where they had to fly to Sioux Falls or Denver for some specialties, but generally speaking, you'll find what you need 
in the Rapid City area. For our veteran, there are also health options for you in our area. Rapid City has a VA clinic, and there's a VA hospital in Sturgis, South Dakota, and Hot Springs, South Dakota. About a year ago, I helped a couple move from to Rapid City from Arizona, and they had some very specific health challenges. I talked with them a few months later about their transition, and they have been very happy with the medical center here in Rapid City, and even the VA center in the Rapid City area. Now let's talk about the activities. And the number one activity on this list is the Black Hills. If you love the outdoors, there's so much to do out in the Black Hills. In half an hour, you could be hiking down a trail, fishing on Rapid Creek, floating on a lake, cross country skiing down a groomed trail, or just simply taking a drive and enjoying all the scenery. There are a number of flatter, easier trails around the Black Hills area if hiking up huge inclines isn't for you. As a side note, with the Black Hills in your back door, that gives the grandkids a reason to come visit. Even if you're in Rapid City, there are numerous activities and things to do. The bike path runs nine miles from one side of the city to the other. There's more fishing along Rapid Creek right in town, and there are a number of hiking trails and bike paths still within Rapid City limits, even though it feels like you're in the hills. Plus, there's a Rapid City Recreational Center, which includes an indoor pool with numerous water classes, racquetball courts, and it hosts a number of fitness classes. If the arts is your thing, Rapid City has everything you need. From the downtown museums, to concerts at the Civic Center, plays at the Seraphim Theater, festivals on Main Street Square, symphonies at the Rapid City Performing Arts Center, or just enjoying the art downtown, whether it be Art Alley or a number of the murals walking around town. In addition to these things, every spring and fall, Rapid City has a community education guide where you can learn to dance, join a hiking group, learn about bird watching in the Black Hills, learn about the history of the Black Hills, and of course, numerous arts and crafts. If golf is your thing, Rapid City and the Black Hills have numerous golf courses, whether it's the Nine Hole Executive Course downtown Rapid City, the Public Meadowbrook Golf Course in Rapid City, or the award-winning Southern Hills Golf Course in Hot Springs, you'll be able to find somewhere to keep that score in line. Finally, there are numerous volunteer and civic organizations that you could join. Whether it's the Boys and Girls Club, Meals on Wheels, the Lions Club, or United Way. If giving back to the community is something that you love to do, you can find it in the Rapid City and the Black Hills area. The next thing that you'll love about Rapid City and the Black Hills are the unique restaurants and foods. Downtown is the best place in Rapid City to go for restaurants. Check out Tally's Silver Spoon, the Monaco Grills for Steaks, the Firehouse Inn for American Food and Burgers, and there's even a place called the Mud Hole, which apparently has great briskets and gravy. Even in the Black Hills, there's some amazing restaurants. There's the Alpine Inn in Hill City, Roma's Italian Up in Spearfish, and Black Hills Burger and Bun in Custer. Just make sure that you get there early enough, because you're probably gonna wait in line there's some pretty fantastic restaurants. Plus you'll find adequate grocery stores in the area. Every town will have its own grocery store. Plus you've got a couple Safeways and family fairs here in Rapid City. On top of that, we've got numerous health and supplement food stores, as well as Breadwork Co-op, which is your local organic and local food store. Plus there are many, many food to table options, farmer markets, and so many other ways to get some great food in the Black Rapid City and Black Hills area. However, if you're looking for Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, those stores probably aren't be coming to the area anytime soon. As I mentioned before regarding the trade radius, that also means Rapid City is the shopping place. I heard someone mention it this way and it's about accurate. We have a little bit of everything, but not a lot of anything. So places like Rushmore Crossing have Target and Sam's Club, Michael's, and more of your chain restaurants and stores. Downtown Rapid City has unique local stores, such as Who's Hobby, a number of unique clothing stores, and Prairie Edge, where you can view and buy Native American art and gifts. On the west side of town, there's Bacon Park, which is your west side location for grocery stores, hardware stores, general services, auto parts, Walgreens, and many other things like that. Many people find that in the Rapid City and Black Hills area, you've got a high quality of life. The air is usually clean and clear. Our winters really aren't as bad as some other places that have winter. And South Dakota makes it a little bit easier to live. Fewer regulations, a little more of a live and let live attitude. And you'll find a small town America feel, even in Rapid City, which has about 80,000 people by now. Plus you've got Midwestern hospitality, friendly people, and plenty of dog lovers. If you love your pets, there are plenty of pet oriented businesses in the Rapid City and the Black Hills area, as well as leash free dog parks. There are four of those around the Rapid City area. And then let's talk about travel in the Rapid City area. Most of the people I've talked to about travel in the Rapid City Black Hills area have said, you guys have no traffic. Aside from when we have hundreds of thousands of bikers here during the Surges Rally, typically our traffic around the area isn't too bad. It does get a little heavier during tourist season, especially in the tourist heavy areas but in general, you can get where you need to go in a decent amount of time. However, if you wanna go somewhere else, it's about a five hour drive to get anywhere. It's five hours to Sioux Falls, five hours to Bismarck, North Dakota, five hours to Billings, Montana, 
and about six hours, seven hours down to Denver, Colorado. Many people love the small Rapid City Airport that you can get in and out relatively easy. But because it's just a regional airport, all you're doing is getting to a hub. So you're flying to Denver or Minneapolis or Salt Lake City and then going from there. So flying in and out of Rapid City can be relatively expensive and not necessarily the easiest way to travel. However, we do have Allegiant Airlines, which is a discount airline that travels nonstop to Las Vegas and Mesa, Arizona. So what do you think? Is Rapid City in the Black Hills a place for you to retire? Let me know in the comments below any other questions or thought forms you might have about the area. And don't forget to watch this video and this playlist for more information about the area. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And remember, love where you live.